Hey, this is John from PowerYourself.com. I'm going to make a short video today just to show you. I picked up some of the some of the different components that I'm going to need to make my refractory. Um, this right here, I can't really see it, but it's it's ground silica. Let's see if I can get a better view of that for you. Basically, it's quality silica and I got some type 1 and type 2 Portland cement 94 pounds so I got 50 pounds of silica for $22 94 pounds of Portland cement for $10 I got some air floated clay um, Cedar Heights um, red clay, um, courtesy of Mia Clay Habit in Gentle Beach, Florida. Um, if you're around my area, that's apparently the only place around here to get this type of stuff. So hopefully she'll uh, continue to keep helping me out with that. And then of course I picked up some some perlite here. Uh, it looks like two cubic feet when packed. Um, this is perlite, and it says uh, Thermo Rock. And it's a from Arizona so this is kind of the uh, this is another high temperature ceramic that mixes in with the refractory this was $16 from Walmart so or from uh, Home Depot so $16 $24 $10 and $23 so it's 47 57 67 I don't know 72 72 bucks 73 bucks I guess so something like that $73 not too shabby this should make about 150 pounds of refractory out of this amount um, it might be a little bit more depending on if my trial goes well I'm gonna start building the form for the inner uh, refractory hearth today so once the forms finished then I'll do some test pours and hopefully I can get uh, some good, good quality uh, parts coming out of this thing so I am going to build it out of some sheet metal just because it's the easiest way I can figure out how to build it here at my house with my limited resources. Um, wood would, might be cheaper, but I don't exactly have all the woodworking materials and I have a, a welder and roll sheet metal, so that's the way I'm going to give it a shot, uh, give it a try the first time. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to cut this video short today. but. Uh, that's what I got so far. I'll keep you updated as I uh, continue to progress. Thanks for watching.